Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and we... What? Oh. <laughs> we are playing uh, uh, the game where I started at level zero. Uh, zero workshop items. You look around, look around. There is nothing workshop here. This is all made by the me. And uh, we're going to play a little, uh, a little Icarus. We've got the kitchen bench ready to rock and the biofuel stove. Now you have to put the kitchen bench down in order for the stove to snap to it. Why? I have no idea. It's a weird thing to do. But look at all this beautifulness. Just look at it all. There's just so much good stuff we can make now. It's great. Like we can go get some mushrooms. Look at that. We can make some stew because we have mushrooms. We can go get some carrots. Uh, let's see. I've got Oh, I don't have pastries. How does one pastry? P-A-S... What the? Honey glazed pastry. P-A-S... Oh, here it is. Pastry is animal fat and flour. Oh, okay. Oh, and you make animal fat in this. Oh, cool. So the kitchen bench is not required anymore. This is superfluous now because we have this. Oh, cool. Or cooking bench. Okay, sweet. Well, let's take all of this then. We'll throw it in here. And then we'll just pick this up. And now we've got some more space. Uh, we'll stick it... Do we have room in here? No. Here, we'll stick it in here for now. Because we don't need it. Now, we did need... So, one of the updates that was done combined the functionality of benches. Right? So, you have the machining bench. And it's supposed to be able to do everything the crafting bench can do. But there was something that I had found that the that the machining bench couldn't do. Oh, it couldn't make this cupboard right here, the wooden cupboard. For some reason, it was not in there. Yeah, see? The wooden cupboard's not in there. There's a spot, which I bet that's where it's supposed to be, but I had to I had to put the, that back down to make the wooden cupboard. So it's not at 100% yet, but it's pretty close. Okay, so we're going to stick with cream corn for now. Oh, we need to grab some some meat for healing. Because we don't have the stuff to do, um, what do you call it? We don't have the stuff to do, oh, we do actually, to do Healy Do's. Oh, yeah, because we've got that now. Let's do the epoxy with the bones. We can do a couple of these. Let's go boom. What else did we need? Oh, some tree sap. That's right. I totally spaced that I, that I ground that up. Yeah, well, I don't know how much we'll need, but probably probably not that much. Uh, 16. Let's make 15 of them. That ought to do pretty good. Ah, it didn't take much at all. Okay. We'll just leave a little bit in here for later. So now we got some Healy Dews, which is pretty sweet. All right. Uh, we've got food. We've got water. It's 1142. Our torch is looking pretty sus. So we'll grab... I don't remember how many it takes. Crafting. I know I should I should just break it, break down and and get the get the better ones, but they cost resources and I don't have that many. <laughs> All right, let's see. Simple three quest, hidden cache. All right, we're going to do that one. Now, let's grab Oh. I bet it I bet it's in the snow biome. Uh, map Oh, no, it's not. It's over this way. Is that on? Okay, sweet. No, we're not taking him. He's going to he's gonna hang out here and do, do butt bison things. Got to make sure the bison's got plenty of stuff. One, at some point, I'll go through and kind of iron out exactly which uh, thingamadoos I want, which uh, which foods that I'm going to focus on, and we'll, we'll, we'll focus on them, but... We're just not doing that right now. I just don't I just don't feel like doing that right now. The food that we have is pretty good. Oh, I still have that in my pocket. Here, let's just drop it in here. Oh, we're going to need Well, we'll probably kill some animals on this run. So we'll have biofuel. I know I use a lot of meat for biofuel. It's just it's just convenient. It's just handy. Okay, so this one, we've got to go to an area, and there should be a box. Now, unless they changed it, 
the 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 difficulty piece of it is only related to the critters that are around it not to anything else like it's usually sitting there open in a field sometimes it's smoking there's a wolf and a bear over there but it's never particularly difficult to find you know what i'm gonna end up doing taking that bison and i'm just gonna do i'm gonna like gather up all the wheat that i can find create a box for it and just store it in there look at that there's more wheat over here like we don't need to bother mining or growing that stuff quite yet we will eventually there's more over there more over there shoot i might not ever do wheat and wheat doesn't spoil so if i put it in a box it's going to be good to go this is a really big cliff you know and sometimes the difficulty of the mission is only related to how far it is from the start point sometimes not always sometimes uh, sometimes it, it, it's they're, they're gonna throw there it is right there they're gonna throw tons of uh critters at you like if it's one of the defend missions at least that's how it was i'm sure the simple missions or wait is it that or that what the hell is that over there well here's this what the heck was that smoking on the in the horizon it's not smoking anymore yeah see there's nothing here oh really okay that was ridiculous. Mission complete. Oh, I got 15,000 experience and 30. Oh, look at that guy. Hey, buddy. Stoinks. <laughs> oh, neat. I leveled up. Oh, look, there they are. Why did it spawn them way over there? That seems a little excessive. Oh, yeah, look at that. These things have some, some cheddar meats on them look at all of them uh oh luckily i got this plus 20 percent melee resistance whoa Yep, totally a thing. Hey, boar. Hey, bird. Get the hell out of here. These are mine. Fuck off, bird. All right, let's get that eaten. Come on. There we go. All right, I'm going to carve these up, baby. All right, those guys are car carved up. We're heading back to base. Now, as far as difficulty goes... That was not a particularly hard mission. Now, maybe if I had done it before getting armor, it would be difficult. But as far as missions go, that was pretty lackluster. Now, the reward was pretty lackluster. It's like, really? Th these three items right there? I mean, 50 coal doesn't suck, but it's not great, you know? It's not great at all. But, hey, it is what it is. Let's get back to base and see if we can't find another one. All right, that went pretty well. I got everything dumped off. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ooh, a down drone. Oh, that those are fun. But I need a few things before I do that. For the down drone, we need those um barriers so that we can fight things off. Oh, but you know what? We also need the anti poison. Did I unlock anti poison yet? Oh, I just leveled up. I can unlock anti poison right now. Hell yeah. Okay, first thing we need to come over here. Um, oh, I already picked up the poison paste. I need anti-poison tonic. And then I need anti-poison pill. Okay, now I already made... Not in here. Not in there. I already made anti-poison paste. Not a ton of it, but I made some, so we... What else do we need for anti-poison? Um, fiber. All right, let's grab some fiber. Okay, so, and then now the pill is kind of tricky because the anti-poison pill requires one paste and one poison tonic. So we can only go half. We do half of them, so seven. Okay, we're going to make that. And then we're going to bring that with us. And then, you know what, while I'm in here, 
Let's throw that in there. Same with the meat. And I'm cooking up some fresh right here. Because, well, actually, now that we have the, the tonic, we don't need to do that. We'll just use it for biofuel. Yeah, now that we have the tonic. Okay, I'm not I'm not entirely happy with where that is. So might might have to take a look at that. But anyway. Okay, so we got one of those now. Um over here, the anti-poison pill needs five charcoal. So let's grab a little bit of charcoal. And we'll make a pill. We only need the one. More of them are coming, but we only need the one pill. That's going to make things so nice. Okay, now, while that's doing that, we're going to need five, four, four? We're going to need four of the thingamadoos. Okay, first things first, though. Solo talent. Uh, let's do daggers. We're not at the guns yet, so we'll just do daggers for now. And then we are going to come over here. I think food effects duration... Slow food decay. Let's slow the food decay. And then... What's this? Oh, this is the hunting tree. Combat tree. Increase movement speed. Wear rate of knives. Let's let's increase the... Because yeah. our, our knife gets broken way too fast. Alright, and then we already unlocked that stuff in the tech tree. We still got two things we can unlock, but we're not worried about that right now. We are not worried about that right now. We got some more of that, which is going to be sweet. What was that? Okay. Um, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. The poison pill is done. So we only need one of those for what we're doing. And then let's go over to this. And we want five of these and five of these to protect the drone. All right, a new morning, and you look down on nine and nine and zero. I don't know why they don't just call it ten. We've got our we've got our barricades. Uh, let's do a quick cheeky repair on the bow. I'd made some more arrows, refreshed that. We've got our thing. I'm gonna do here. We'll take that before the fight. Uh, the torch is fine. We got another one. Let's grab a quick bite or drink of water. We're good to go there. All right, let's go. Oh, our food. Necesito. All right, we are going to take a quick bite of that. Quick bite of that. We'll take half of those. We'll take half of those. We'll take that. We don't need that. All right. That'll be our timer. Okay, now. We're going to go... Okay. We're going to go and do... Down drone. All right, where are we going? We're going to the cold biome. Of course we are, because I just took a drink of water. But that's okay. Cold biome, which means the storm may be reset. We might not have... Hopefully, we're not in there during a storm. That That's the hope. That could cause the mission to fail, because I, I'll freeze to death. But hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully the, the storm for... The uh, winter biome is just as completed as the storm for the temperate biome. All right. We don't have far. Now, the ones that are a challenge to get to in time and set up are the hard ones of these. They are usually, like, really far. Like, this one's right here. The hard one would be, like, back here. You know, or down here. And it, it would be a huge pain in the butt to get to. And you'd be tempted to use a... Uh... Oh, shoot. Did I bring my hammer? You'll be tempted to use a, uh, which reminds me, I need wood. What do you call it? You, you, uh, horse or something. But that thing is just going to get killed. It's going to get eaten by whatever you're fighting. I mean, unless you, you put it inside the structure that you build to protect the, the down drone, that, that could be something you do. That I don't think I've ever done that. I just don't take them. Now, with this playthrough, we don't have, what do you call it? workshop items so our speed is significantly reduced so that could be a problem when it comes to um getting to the location in time that's all right we're not worried about that right now right now we've got there it is right now we've got this one up here it's not that far away 
We've still got a thousand seconds until it self-destructs, so you know, that's that's pretty sweet. Now, if we're lucky, this thing's on a relatively flat piece of ground so we can put these barricades up. If we're not lucky, oh, this is pretty flat. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go... Let's go here. We don't want him to be able to hit it through the wood barricade. Here. And probably right here. Yeah. And then we'll bring this around to, to force them to come around it. Okay. Now, that didn't really do what I wanted it to do, did it? We'll do that one in a minute. Pygmy Lop. There we go. You got to get pretty close to set these. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely going to be able to get through here without any problem at all. So let's see if we can't do that. That'll let me get out, but it'll it'll stop them from coming in, I hope. Come on. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. There we, what? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. That was that's weird. I don't know if I'm going to be able to repair that. Okay, so let's move the food, move the bandage. We're going to need to put the repair hammer down here. Uh, what else are we going to need while in here? Really none of this, just this. But we'll eat that right beforehand. Now the repair hammer, like I can highlight that. I can't highlight those spikes. Those spikes are going to have to move. We have to be able to highlight the spikes, otherwise it doesn't work. All right. There we go. They might be able to get in through here. But I think it'll be fine. Oh, shoot. Consume. All right. We ate that. Our food is fresh in our, in our thingamadoo. Now we just got to kind of wait. We got 955 seconds. And we should just get a whole bunch of these snakes. We should just get a bunch of snakes, and I don't remember if it does the bigger critters or not. Just check in here periodically to make sure nothing shows up. Yep, we got... Oh, it might have a big snake. Oh, that's right. I forgot they have the bi the medium size and then the big snakes now. If a big snake shows up, we might be kind of screwed. I can handle a medium snake with arrows, I think. But a big snake could be a problem. There's a snow leopard. Okay, he didn't get in. Hey, see how he's taking the health of this thing down? Alright, he's dead. He's going to attract... Bad. He's going to attract other predators. What hurt me? Oh, it bit me, didn't it? It can spit on me all day long. It's not going to hurt me. Oh, the, whoa. See? It spit on me, but it, it I don't think it did any damage. It might have done a little bit. Alright, we got another snow leopard coming and a wolf. Okay, that leopard sounds like it might have died quick. Oh no, it's right there. Shut up. That thing taking damage? That's fine. Is this snow leopard gonna do something? Hey dummy! What are you doing? There we are. Alright, let's go deal with that. I don't need them damaging my structures. For some reason, their poison spit hurts the structures, too. I should have brought another knife. Yeah, I should have brought another knife. I need to make a steel knife. I need to bite the bullet and just do it. Oh, I definitely shouldn't be doing that. Eight hundred seconds until self-destruct. Fifty percent upload. We're doing pretty good. Uh, it does a minor amount of damage to me. Oh, we can switch to the bow. 
There's an a snow wolf. I need to check those spikes. Alright, let's see. Oh, they're fine. How about these spikes over here? These ones are a little more down, but they're fine all in all. Okay. We're gonna kill all the predators in the local area. All right, we're at 67%. Oh, there's a wolf somewhere. Is he inside? No, he's outside. Yeah, there he is. Oh, something hit me. That's okay, the thing is still at maximum health. All right, where are you? Are you inside? Did you spawn inside? Oh my god, you did. That is hot garbage. All right. Yeah, come on, baby. What you want? What you want? I heard it. Where is it? Oh. Bow's still looking good. Jerk. All right, we're going to need to eat a bandage. And we've got him. Let's do it. Not only does it give us... It, it gives us an initial heal, we've got like 300% healing regeneration rate with that thing. Pretty sweet. Snow Leopard. That thing did a lot of damage. Yeah. All right, we're D-O-N-E. Nine, nine, oh, so it just mass killed everything that's over here. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's chop all these bones up. Grab up all our gear. Oh, okay. Grab up all the, the gear and stuff. Then we'll go see what the, the loot box is. All right, we got our gear all picked up. Let's see what we got in this thing. Oh, that's right. They give you a choice. We could get some Kumara. Mushroom. We don't need that. We don't need that. Freshwater fish. Kumara. I guess we could claim this stuff here. So it gave us some soybean and some, some Kumara seeds. Which is pretty sweet. That was loud. Alright, so I think we're going... Yeah, let's head back to base. Okay, so the Kumara makes the shepherd's roll, uh, or what I called back in the day, the crunchy tuna roll. The uh, shepherd's roll is amazing. Look at all those stats. I don't have any carrots, though. I need I need to redo my garden, go grab some carrots, and we start making some shepherd roll. Because, damn. The only other thing you can do with Kumara is boil it, I think. Oh, no, here we go. Fried chunky vegetables. Which, they're cool, but they're not as it's not as good as friggin' shepherd's roll. Holy cow. I think it was the shepherd's roll and the savory, savory roll I made all the time back in my other, my, my last playthrough. Which those would be good because of that experience gain. And in fact, plus 10% experience gain doesn't suck for the shepherd's roll either. So I might consider doing that and switching out instead of doing cream corn, doing the shepherd's roll. Because that's just, 10% experience gain is just nice. Now, check this out. There's a hard down drone available. I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to do it until the morning, I don't think. Because I don't want to get caught out at night, especially if it takes me into the, the winter biome. I did raise a level, though. So let's head over here to the talent tree. And let's go... I wonder if we should start doing the deployables. Oh, no, you know what? There's one that makes it better for furnaces. There it is. Let's start going down the deployables route. I think it's I think it's time to start doing that. And then up here, I don't think we need anything else right now. I'm kind of curious about the smoker, but I've got the dry food and, and all of that. So I think we're fine. I think we should uproot 
corn. I don't think we need the corn anymore. I think we're pretty I think we're pretty done with the corn. Because there's not a whole lot in here you make with it. Yeah. That right there. A rhubarb stew, but I don't have rhubarb. And it's not that good either. Yeah, I think we're done with the corn. Uh, I think we need to plant the kumara. Go get some corn. Here, let's uproot that. Nope, we're not pick up. There we go. Let's go ahead and plant one of those. And then I will get some more planted in time. I need to do a better... Oh, crap. Oh, we might as well eat it. That's going to go bad. I need to do a better garden. Oh, dear. Well, those don't need to be in there. Did I pick it up? Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Can you accidentally eat these? No. I need to get the thing so that I can make the... Uh, I need to get the other composter so I can make the thingamadoo. The fertilizer. All right, boom. Okay, so we got some Kumara going. What do we got here? We got the green thumb plus 15% planted crop growth speed. Oh! You don't have to redo the things. It used to be you had to redo the crop plots to get the benefits that you got, that you picked up. That says 15% growth speed. That says 150% growth speed. I don't know. So maybe you just got to replant them to get the bone, the benefit? I don't know. I, I think yeah, I think I replanted all of them recently. So that's pretty cool. I think I think we're going to create a like a legit garden over here. You know, put up some foundations and snap them into place, but I'm not going to do that until I get which one is it? Until we get the metal ones, which are tier 3 and they are right here. But they take iron, copper wire and steel screws. So they take a little bit, but you can hook the rain thingy to them, which is pretty sweet. We're also going to pick up the rain thingy, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better, uh, this thing, the metal rain reservoir. We're going to pick that up too, which is going to give us these two things, but we're going to, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to pump water. I don't think that's that big a deal. I think for the gardens, we're just going to use this thing. What is this thing for? It just stores water. Okay. This is interesting too. I kind of want to get that together as well. Hydration is key. Uh, and then we could just get rid of that old rain collector. And then we hook the rain collector to this. I feel like that might be the way to go. That And then we could put that indoors. There's so many cool things. Oh, wait, we got six. We could just do it. Level 27. Is there anything else that I need? I mean, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're going to skip the forge. I don't think we need it. We'll just wait till we get to here and get the other one. I think we'll just skip the forge. Uh, tier four. Where's the big one? There's the furnace, but that's not what I want. Electric textiles bench, chemistry bench. Electric water pump, textiles. Where is that thing? It should be like with the pickaxes and stuff. Yeah, this thing. Here we go, the foundry. We're going to need to make that. Titanium plates. There's nothing in the foundry that's overtly complicated to make, except that it, requ oh, it requires power. So we're going to have to have power for that thing. Where's the thumper? Prototype thumper. Oof. I think requires 12 composites. We can't have that until we first get the material processor. That takes 60 electronics. Like, that's a ways out. Once we do that, we can do that. But before we do any of that, we need to pick a power source. And power sources are right here. We could do the wind turbines. We could get away with the water wheels. They're a little cheaper. No, they're not. Wind turbines require carbon fiber. These things just require steel as the most expensive component. This requires aluminum, steel screws. This one requires a lot more, a lot less steel. But, And then there's always the solar panel, which requires a ton of composites. But I think to get composites, we have to already have power. Actually, for this... Oh, yeah, there's no composites in this. It's just aluminum. 
This thing produces 6,000 power, 2,000 power, 1750. So, and I know these are, these power levels fluctuate depending on the, the weather. And then we've also got the battery banks that we can set up. Or we can just go straight biofuel generator. Which produces how much power? 5,000 power. So, and then the flow meter is a cool addition to the game. So we can determine how much power we've got. So I don't have to keep a spreadsheet on how much power I'm using. That'll be nice, but that's going to be later. But as far as the platinum hammer goes, the cold steel stuff. Chance to get a frozen ore per mined resource. 100% hard point penetration. That's tempting. I mean, it's real tempting to go cold steel. But we're I think we're going to wait on it. I don't I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to save the points. We're going to go we're going to wait for tier 4, get the foundry or whatever it's called, yeah. And then go straight into titanium. It's going to be expensive and it may come to the point where I I need something better than steel. But for now, I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um we need to we need to oh you know what i need the steel i think i think we're just gonna have to break and go steel knife since we are gonna wait um oh we could do obsidian that does fire damage interesting it requires shaped obsidian nails leather and refined wood and that is 250 percent 200% skin. 215% yield from skinning. The cook cooking the meat, I don't really care about, but might be kind of neat. What's it do with the axe? 30% chance to get coal when chopping. And the pickaxe? 30% chance to smelt when mining. That's just weird. Sickle? 25% chance to cook crops. That's... No. Okay, yeah, we're probably going to skip obsidian. That's that's kind of dumb. So, but if we go with this knife, because this one's got 200% yield. So they've got the same yield. This thing just does a little bit more damage. And has... Oh, it doesn't say, but it's got to have more... It's got to have more durability. So uh, let's go ahead and hook up one of those. And then I'm tempted. We've got five. So one, two, three for the thing, four for the water purifier. That should give me everything I need. The only, th the only thing I don't have is the tool attachments with the alterations bench. Now, I could skip the water purifier because it's not necessary and get an alterations bench. I could do that. I could do that. Okay, one, two, three. And then we'll go four. Oh, shit. I miscounted. Okay, well, we're not going to deal with that anyway. Um, I'm not going to use any of that anyway. We need to make a steel knife, which is right here. Um, I just need four epoxy. Okay. That was a weird noise. All right, we got a steel knife. Craft. Oh, that's right, because we've got the durability boost now. All right, so we're out of iron. Ooh. Okay, we're going to need to repair that. Repair that. Uh, we're going to grab the steel knife. We're going to switch out for that. Now, we'll keep that on us for the time being. Oh, and if we're going to do that mission, we're going to need one of these. All right, let's wait until the morning and go try out this hard one. Hopefully we don't die. All right, let's do this thing. I've got the steel... I've got... Ooh, we're down to 54 arrows. Eh, that doesn't make me happy. 
You know, I really need to get some more arrows. Like, I don't have many. Uh, let's do 46. Brings us up to an even hundy. Yeah, do 46. We've got our steel knife. We've got our backup iron knife in case we run low. This stuff's probably not super necessary. We're going to grab a p two pieces of wood for repairs. Let's see. we we'll drop that stuff back. We've got bandages. We've got that. We've got our poison pill. We've got bo all of these. We've got bandages. I already said that. I think... I think we're good. We just have to see if we can get there fast enough. That's that's going to be the main key. Can we get there fast enough in order to successfully do this mission? All right. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, my God. Uh, hmm. We got to run south and then to the west. I haven't been into the, the gooey zone yet. I don't... I mean, I have the anti-poison... Uh, nah, we don't have time. I have the anti-poison pill, so we should be okay, but I haven't been to the gooey zone yet. Okay, where are we going? We gotta go to right here. Oh, son of a... I don't have time for you, dude. Don't have time for you. I gotta get to the gooey zone. Do I have any... I do have rampy dudes. Okay, that right there. We're not we're not looking at grabbing plants right now. All right, let's see if we can make this. All right, we made it over here. Now the question is, can we get this set up before that timer goes down? And boom. And boom, and boom, and boom. Okay, grab it, hit it, bang it, pop it, zap it. Let's do this thing. Consume, bitches. Eat it. There we go, we got it. Food's up, let's refresh. Consume, consume. Hey, buddy. Oh, you know what? Is the big one here? <laughs> like, cause that would suck. <laughs> I don't know if I could take down a big one. Especially if the local wildlife shows up. And I don't know if the second, if the countdown matters. Because 10 seconds took what? Let's see, we were at 22 when it hit 10. I don't know. What the hell happened over there? One, so 15 was like five seconds ish. So there's no way. Like we would need. Okay, so yeah, mission failed. Does that say elephant? Ah, oh, crap. Seriously? He's gonna crush my shit. Hey, dick. Stop it. Why are you so mad at my at my walls, dude? You gonna hit it? What you got? That does like nothing. There we go. Take some damage, bitch. Yeah, yeah, take some damage. Duh. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so we would have to get here in time to have the damn uh the the whole drone countdown like i don't i don't know if that's possible i want to say you got to get here with at least 200 seconds left for it to work what the hell is an elephant doing in this biome 200 seconds is a lot so yeah that was about the time when we hit this corner so i don't i don't think we're going to be able to do hard missions right now I would have to be able to, like, bring a, a bird in through here. Oh, man. I wish I had the taxidermy thing. Yeah, I don't have it. 
Yeah, we'd have to do a bird. So no hard missions that are on a timer, it looks like. That's all I got? Oh, that is weak. This goes to show I should have brought the taxidermy thing. Well, I guess we can do a little exploration in here for a little bit. Creeping ferns. All right, let's get this stuff picked up. What? I heard growling. All right, well, uh, since we'll be heading back out, we might as well take a quick, cheeky look. Fern harvest for plant fiber. This needs the big hammer, so we need to bring a big hammer in to get some clay. So that that's where we get clay from. What's this? Uh, okay, more potatoes. I don't need more potatoes. Let's see. There was a needler over here somewhere that I avoided. You gotta watch out for them. They're incredibly tough. Like, they have really thick armor. Thick hide. Is that just a rock? Yeah. So we gotta be careful of those guys. I don't know if trying to take them down with the stone arrows is something that's gonna work. For needlers, I think we're probably gonna need some sort of firearm. I was nuts that that elephant came at me. It must have been part of the, part of the mission, because there's another elephant over there, and it didn't bother me. There's a crocodile and a needler. We got some copper right here. Something called a ubis. That's pretty sweet. With tons of clay in here. Like, if we wanted clay for something, this is the place to go. There's another needler. Luckily, the needlers, like the like the gators, are really, really slow. So if you just outrun them and avoid their spines, you're fine. Here's a cave. Do I have... Of course not. Holy crap. There's a ton of crap in here. Oh, we're coming back here. Where is this one? It's pretty far up, but... Ah, we might come back here. I don't know. I don't. I think trying to get the buffalo with the cart in through here would be a nightmare. But I don't want to be running around here with pneumonia, so we're not going to go in that cave right now. Alright, I was trying to get a good picture with that mammoth, but my, my key... My, my key to disconnect the camera is not disconnecting the camera. Uh, oh, Crystallized Mizma. A delicate substance often found coating creatures that inhabit swampy areas. Uh, that's for the Mizmic weapons. And the Mizmic weapons are tier 4, I think. Titanium, yeah. You need to make the distilled Mizmic coating. And I think you have to make the distilled magic coating in that. I don't think it's something you can make in the regular one. Oops, it's tier two. Um, volatile substance, carbon paste. Yeah, it's not in here. So we're not taking it because the just the magic stuff will cause damage. It'll it'll hurt you while you carry it. And I don't want to deal with that right now. Well, this place is pretty cool. Um, I got... We didn't get the mission done because we just didn't have enough time. But we picked up some... Where'd it go? Some tea. And this tea can be used to make um, a, a heating liquid. I, I want to say it has the same effect as the coffee. So really kind of useless. But, you know, it's kind of neat to have a little bit of it and to have the seeds on hand so that we can make it if we want. We can put it in the garden. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to build the things that we, that I need to... Well, I'm going to gather some supplies, make sure I have everything. If I don't have the raw materials for the next project, I'm going to... um, What do you call it? I'm going to go gather those raw materials, and then when we come back, we'll get the rain system set up with some proper crop plots, I think. Ooh. Oh, I was going to make that crunchy tuna roll, so we need carrots. And I'm going to grab some carrots, because I want to be able to make shepherd's rolls, because shepherd's rolls are just amazing. I don't think we need a lot of carrots. Ah, what the hell. When am I ever going to come back this way looking for carrots? This way we don't have to get them later. But, um, yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to start growing some kumara, start building all that stuff up, get a good kumara... A number of Kumara going, and that way, when it comes time to make some crunch tuna rolls, we will have plenty of resources, and that's going to give us a serious boost. 
These ones only give 75 stamina and 150 health. The crunchy tuna rolls are in the 200s, which is just amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call this episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Uh, leave a, Feel free. Leave a comment in the comments section. And by all means, everyone, share the video with your buddies because one of the best ways to spread the word of a video content creator you like is to share it with some friends. If you're not into that or you just don't have any friends, leave a comment in the comments section because it's a great way the YouTube algorithm likes likes it when um, the channels interact with each other, you know, when when the, the listeners interact with the content creator. It lets the YouTube know that the stuff is uh, popular enough, you know, to promote. And if you're not into any of that, but you did enjoy the video, just smash the like button. <laughs> at the very least. I know, I should probably do these announcements at the end, or at the beginning, but instead of the end, but, you know... Uh, you know, I, I am who I am. I do it the way I do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you all have a great rest of your day.